Welcome to today's video guys and I don't think you need any other explanation but we are at Garage Defend here in Nagoya. This place is absolutely amazing. We're here with my friend Dostin, there's even some S15s and a Supra here but Garage Defend is mainly known for GTRs as the big sign would say. And Dostin, you've got some yeah. special cars in here don't you? Last time we were here, I think I saw some of the rarest 34 GTRs and it looks like some things have, you know, exchanged and moved around and maybe been shipped overseas or whatever. But uh, Dustin, please tell me a little bit about yourself, the shop and, and what you guys do. All right, hey, ladies and gents, this is Dustin. I'm a director of the shop here and take care of all the international stuff and we've been shipping out a lot of really cool JDM sports cars, particularly GTRs like this to different parts of the world, be it the US, Australia, Canada, Europe, England, anywhere. Mm. And if you wanna buy the best cars from Japan, I mean, I this, this is the place. This is the place you want to hit up. Like, exactly. Garage the Fan and Dustin, they know what they're looking for. They're not going to have a rusty car here. They're not going to sell that. Like, I mean, if you guys saw the auction video, he wasn't touching that, that A80 uh, Supra. That video, right? Yeah, they don't deal with any low quality stuff. So, every time I come here, it is the best of the best. So, if you want the best of the best, which I know a lot of people do for the hard earned money, Talk to my friend Dustin. I'm gonna put all these socials down in the description. Thank so make sure much. you go check them out, his Instagram and stuff like that. But Dustin, there is two very, very cool cars behind us. Probably on the bucket list of everyone here, yeah. like everyone watching. So we got Midnight Purple one or two here? Two. Two, Midnight Purple two. And I know this one's Midnight Purple three because you cannot miss that. Like that, such a big difference in the three compared to the two. Hey, and we have a lot more too, okay? Not just this two. That's right. Yeah. So, Midnight Purple 2, USA import legal apparently. Say that again. USA import legal. So you can import a Midnight Purple 34 GTR to the USA right now. V-Spec edition. Yeah, this is legal. Yeah. Has to be the V-Spec edition. Now, there are some, you know, kind of things that limit you from driving it lots on the street um, because it has to be show spec, like a show version of a car, right? So, funny thing is US has got this 25 year old rule which they don't allow used cars, right? Yeah. There's an exception for that. Yeah. There's a show and display import regulations which lets you import a car if it's under 300 main and super rare, right? Yeah. But the funny thing is, Midnight Purple 2 V-Spec edition is made 282 and this one is respect because Midnight Purple 3 is like twice more rare yeah. than this one. And this one is on an HTSA list import legal. This one is not. It's not, yeah. So this one makes the cut. This one's on the list. So you can get one of these. Actually, you know, we have a friend. I'm not going to drop his name, but yeah. you guys know one of my close friends in the USA has a Midnight Purple 2 V Spec 34 GTR. And that's how he has it legally, is because they are legally allowed to be imported. Exactly. But this one is not. Um, and these are probably some of the nicest examples of these two cars. Today's video is sponsored by Buy. Buy is a proxy purchasing service which allows you to buy things from online e-commerce websites here in Japan just like Yahoo Auctions and Rakuten and get them shipped to you wherever you are in the world. So yes my friends, that means you can get those things from Japan like car parts or anime and manga merchandise through Buy and all these other e-commerce websites in Japan. The best thing is, is you just simply create an account on Bai's website, they automatically do the translation work for you so you can go through and scroll through all these different sites, find what you want, purchase it, it's then delivered to Bai's location in Japan and then they ship it directly to you. And Bai has a special gift for you guys. Go check out the link down in the description and sign up for a new account and you get 2,000 yen, which is about $20 USD, off your first time purchase with them. By using Bai, you're able to get anything you want here in Japan. Thank you Bai for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to it. Dawson, I know you said there's a little bit of a special story with this one, so why don't you tell me about it? Yeah, most of the cars has its own special story, right? Including this one, and particularly this one is my great friend Alex. Alex has got some of the coolest cars in the United States. He's got a Lamborghini since he's built, he has been building his own Batmobile and everything. Oh wow, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> and he really wanted, not Midnight Purple 2, but Midnight Purple 3. And yeah. as you can see, that there's a good color difference. Oh, very different, yeah. This is like a darky kind of, it's, it's hard to tell on camera, but you can obviously see there's a massive difference between these two. Exactly, and he's like, Dostan, I know this is not USA import legal yet, but I'm waiting, I'm willing to wait for the next five years until we mm. become USA import legal, find me one. Yeah. Since those cars V-Spec edition only, I think, I mean, less than 100 or so, I think, so rare, 
it was really difficult to find one. Finally, we find one, and Alex was like, "Go get it, man!" <laughs> we found it from Tokyo. Owner was a special person, and he let us to basically purchase this car. And the car looks absolutely stunning. Mm. Very beautiful car. And congratulations to Alex. Yeah. And we will be storing here, Sam. For That's the next pretty cool. Five years, you know. Wow. Until this thing becomes 25 years old. Unless we get this one included in an HDSA list of show and display import angle GTR. Yeah, if they update it, then you'll be able to. Do you want to pop the hood? Let's take a look in this engine bay. This thing is, whew, it is beautiful. Probably the nicest example I have ever seen of a Midnight Purple 334 GTR. So this is Midnight Purple, as you can see that, but it comes with a special Nismo uh, aero parts, as you can see that, z tune fenders, bumper, of course, the, the bonnet and everything. And of course, the most special one comes with the garage defense cooling panels, <laughs> which comes with our tag here. Yeah, so, that's yeah. a nice little plug. Garage defense actually makes some really nice carbon uh, cooling panels. Exactly, right. Thank you very much. <laughs> no worries. And of course, the car looks beautiful. Absolutely no rust issues yeah. or whatsoever. Strut tires are perfectly clean. Underbody is perfect condition. Mm. And I'm sure... Um, so clean. Ones like this is extremely hard to find. So it's hard to find anything like this. Sh shall we Shall we jump start right away? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's start her up. I'll get at the back so we set? can... Ah, oh, no, you do it. I want to hear the exhaust, man. I want to hear this note. This titanium muffler looks so nice. One day, boys. The thing is that we One do, day. Way, Sam, before we start, is yeah. that we always disconnect the battery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So that uh, it has got the you know power remaining. Yeah. Use the battery. This carbon Oops. rises look so good. And we connect it. Dude, Dawson, one day, one day I'm gonna hit you up with a big lot of cash for one of these, okay? Get rich first. All right, get rich first. <laughs> Thank you. So, <laughs> thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> hey, that was natural. <laughs> Sorry about that. You do. You're good. Oh, man. Sounds so good. Dude, it's insane. Like, I've I've always wanted to see the difference between Midnight Purple 2 on the 34 compared to Midnight Purple 3. And when you see them side by side like this, it's like insanely different. Insanely different, and both of the cars are insane GTRs. Insane GTRs, yeah. Drive, you know? Like, just, like, this almost looks black on camera. And then you look at this, and it's just, oh, so nice. Although, I'd hate to scratch this and try to get it fixed. One of the, the most difficult paints to work with, right? You gotta find the right guy for that. Both are perfect condition. Never yeah. repaint it, just so that you understand. Never repaint it. And of course, when we bought the z tin fenders and everything else, we had to repaint it. Oh, you guys put these on? Of course, yes. Oh, nice. This one also comes with z tin fenders, as you can see that. Yeah. Which makes the car look really awesome, you know? The it does. Bike. As you can see that, look at the color of this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark green. Perfect. Kind of matches a little so, bit with the uh, like the dark green, blue, exactly, pearl in the exactly. paint. Exactly. These are the mines. Uh, the, the rear mirrors look pretty awesome, as you can see. That we got this. Both of them have the same. Uh, Don't mind us, guys. We're just geeking out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool stuff. Both of them are V-spec. Yeah. Therefore, they come with V-spec diffusers, and you know. Yeah, those diffusers that are worth like fifteen thousand dollars if you break one. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. Everything is expensive here, you know? Yeah. And again, Sam, we have a couple of indoor storage lights, as you understand. And yeah. Even this, this yard has been very dynamic. Actually, all the stars that you can see here were not here when you was this no. six months ago. No, right? no. But all of these cars have changed, like I said. Exactly. Probably the only one that's still here is, is the Tommy Cairo, right? Is that still here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that'll always be here. That's going nowhere. <laughs> we are working on a project, Sam, and it's unbelievable. Look, of course, there are two cars USA import legal. Number one, Midnight Purple 2. Yep. Early 99 GTR 34 V spec. And the other one is over there, a couple of them we have M spec newer Melnum J GTR 34s. Mm. Next project car we are working on, and it's going to be USA import legal pretty soon, is again, Pearl White. Only one of the seven, I mean, this is only one of the 75 ever manufactured. M spec Nures. Yeah. They're also 2002 model. All mm. Nures were manufactured in 2002. And this bad boy is going to pop up in the highways of the United States in 2023 once they're exempted from EPA regulations. Oh, wow, they're getting close then. 
this is going to be your same portfolio pretty soon as well. Yeah. So, so this is the thing that a lot of people need to understand is a lot of these top tier 34 GTRs, we're not talking base models, anything that had like under 300 made can make it onto that import legal exactly. list as show show cars, right? There is a list of cars in English DSA. Yeah. But if it's, if it, for example, this one is 75 made only, right? Yeah. You can apply for English DSA and request this car to be included in that list. Yeah. And it can be included if you yeah. do that, it's under 300. Yeah, so as long as someone has the funds to go through and do all the tests and stuff like that to get all the paperwork done, it can make it on the list and they will be able to import this before the 25 year law. And Sam, if the time allows us to do that, I will take it to Nismo, okay? Oh. We are working on a special project called oh. Clapman Stick Racing GTR 34 CRS. Oh. Okay. They are rarer than Z Tune, and they are some of the most iconic JDM sports cars or <laughs> GTRs that you can ever have. And there's two cars right here. Yeah. Both of them are silver, as yep. you can see that. And they are super clean and high condition cars. They are base models for us, okay? These yep. guys. They are both going to Nismo, and we will be getting them rebuilt as a CRS. Ah. It's gonna be a two-year project, and once they are done, they are gonna be absolutely legend. There is no shop in the world right now has one CRS for sale. Yeah, that's and insane. We have already three lined up. Uh, this is the Millennium Jade one, right? Exactly. This is a yeah. Millennium Jade M Spec newer, and they are super special cars, bro. Super special. This is a newer club. Yeah. Nissan manufactured only 1,000 newers just like this. Yeah. And out of that, 250 of them were M spec tuners. 750 was basically the V spec tuners. M spec wow. a lot more rare. And out of that 250, Sam, only 144 were Millennium Jade M spec tuner, mm. and they are USA import legal. That's why they're legal, yeah. Right. Far out, man. It's such an insane looking color. This one is gold mm -hmm. color GTR 34. Of course, probably the cleanest LM in Japan. Yeah, this is insane. Another M spec newer right here. Dude, it's so insane to see all cool this stuff. stuff. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Hey, there's a Tommy Cairo one we saw last time. Yeah. I mean, every time you come here, if you came here 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you it's, have yeah, yeah, this, this is never leaving. Yeah, this this is, is never, never leaving. It's always too always rare. Here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's too rare, right? It's too yeah. rare. Look at that logo there, guys. I Anyways, mean, Sam, look, look at this. I know, man. man it's killing me. I'm so jealous. Your customer, look. Alex, he did so well to get this. Bro, this thing. Hey, DM I mean, me, Alex. Let's work out a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and this one has a super special engine. You want to take a look at it? Sure, let's do it. I mean, bro, this thing has an engine that would blow everybody's mind today. You know what I mean? Yeah, Nismo fine spec. This one only manufactured 200 limited edition. Yeah. This is the engine number 87. Of course, this one as well comes with the cooling panels. Another plug they there for defend, garage defend. Garage <laughs> defend. The cooling panels, they are the best in the world, you know. Just, we never stop saying that because they are, you know. That's fine. Shall we start the engine right away? Short. So funny story, I actually know the owner of this car and I'm really tempted to lick it right now, like the steering wheel or something, but no, I won't do that to me. Neutral. That's very smooth. Take a look at this. Dude, this is actually pretty Th cool. This Stop one is Z Tune style. Very fancy. Rock Looks pretty Fonsky awesome. Speakers. I like that. Of course. Dude. This car is super special too. Let's get that note for you guys in uh, in the comment section as well. Sounds really good. Yeah, that's nice. The carbon touches here on the back of the bumper. It's a GCG box in the back. Hmm. And there's such a different feeling in driving a stock each RB26 and then fine spec, you know? It idles differently. Yeah. I'm going to do some research on this later so I know more about it. Yeah. But um, according to the label here, it looks like it is a 26. I don't know if it's a 2.8, but I'm going to do some research and learn about this, yeah, the this fine spec. Yeah. 87. Nismo fine spec engine. Final edition. Final edition. Before it's the final. Car. No. <laughs> <laughs> After final edition, they came up with that thing. I know. Of course, our special. I know. It's, they do it all the time in Japan. You know, that's why there's Zenki, Koki, and then they're like, oh crap, we're going to bring another one out. Uh, what do we call it? Uh, 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 we'll call it the Neo 6. <laughs> like, <There you> <laughs> yeah. Cool stuff, bro. Cool stuff. It's all right. So. 
Dustin has a special car for me to drive that's super rare, which is in one of their storage places, shops. So we're gonna go there now and time warp. But uh, once again, I just wanna remind you guys, like obviously these videos we're doing here in Nagoya would not be possible without Dustin. And he has one of the sickest shops, the sickest cars, literally like the best GTRs I've ever seen, the rarest, and he knows what he's doing. So if you are after something on this kind of level, please hit him up. Once again, info will be in the description to get in contact with him. Sam. No worries, Dustin. Let's go drive a GTR. Let's go drive a GTR. Go get it. Let's go get it. Go get it. We are literally in the middle of nowhere and we're about to go into another top secret location that Garage Defender has here. Some cool boxes of aero parts and stuff here. And you come through this little door. Bam. Woo! And we saw this last time we were here. So one of these cars I'm gonna be driving today, which I'm pretty excited about. They're gonna shuffle a fair few of these cars around and then uh, we'll show you which car we are driving. And this is the car that Dawson's gonna let me take for a spin today. Yep. This is for sale, right? Of course it is, Sam. Oof. Look at that beautiful okay, M-Spec. Usually, Sam, just so that you understand, we don't let anyone pick out one of those cars for a drive. But you being the special Sam. Okay, all right. Test drive, test drive. <laughs> let you, we let you the, be the man today, you know? Ooh, Spec M. I'm so excited about driving this. Sam, this is, like, how rare are these? How rare are these? You know how many old in total M-Specs were manufactured? How many? Only 366. 360. 66. 66. And right now you're looking at one of the only 366 manufactured M specs. Wow. And black though. How many in black? I don't, don't know. <laughs> that's, that's How many kilometers is this one rare, done? Rare, very rare. rare. Black, very rare okay. Yeah. And this one has got 40 something thousand kilometers, which translates to be about 20 something thousand miles. Wow. That's pretty cool, right? So low mileage M spec 34 GTR in black. I mean, you have to give a, you know... Pop that hood. <laughs> Everything is pretty much stock, as you can see that. Oh my gosh, it's so clean. Of course, we clean. only sell cleanest stuff, as you understand, Sam. And of course, this M-Spec being one of the cleanest. This is beautiful. Yeah. All right, we might need to talk about a pricing for this. And everything, yeah, but, but that cleans up. That's yeah, fine. That's not a problem. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to set up the GoPro. We're going to take this for a drive, but... How much is, is this for sale for? This is for sale for 100 or 160,000? Okay, 170,000 USD. But because I'm the special Sam, maybe like 50 grand or something? Nah, I'm just, <laughs> I wish. I can have it for free? He said it here. He said it here. You're having it right now. That lady was like, I was like, Oh, well, yeah, we kind of were like standing in the middle of the road. My bad. Anyways, I'm going to set up the camera. We're going to take this out for a rip. Now, I'm not going to jump on this, don't worry. Last time you let me test drove a car. Uh, yeah, what, 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 oh, what remember, was that remember, car? remember the Bathurst yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we got yeah. the rear wheels spinning? Yeah, don't worry, yeah. I'm not going to do that <laughs> in this car. <laughs> that was actually accidental. I was like, all right, let's just, you know, run it through the RPMs and then it slipped out because it had some old kind of um, yeah. dry tires on it. Dude, this feels incredibly smooth for like, what, a 22 year old car now? Yeah, this thing is, bro, going up in light like crazy. Mm. Yesterday it was sold for how much, Sam? 15 uh, 100 and 160 grand roughly, wasn't it? Plus 10% sales tax. Yeah, plus 10% sales tax. Stock exhaust? Yeah, mostly stock. Mm. Alright, bring it up a bit more. So smooth on acceleration. Yeah. I love that. it. Brakes feel really good. Yeah? 
the shifter feels amazing. I'm not surprised it's a get drag. Those things feel so good. The little like reverse lever is a nice touch. Well, Sam, as you understand, cars like that are going up in value, mm. and that's going to be a trend by the time you're going to use import legal. But right now, cars like that is under 60, under 70 thousand USD. Do you think it's worth it? I mean, that's a that's an interesting question. Like, is it worth? spending that kind of like I have supercar money on something like this right yeah. if you think about it from a purely a, a car to get from A to B perspective you know it's an old car it's 22 years old parts are you know getting harder to find or more expensive and finding someone to work on this kind of stuff um, I would think like if you look at it like that point of view no but if I look at this car as a you know a collector's car something that is just like that inspired my, inspired my childhood and made me you know do what i'm doing today hell yeah it's worth it yeah, it's got it comes with the history and the heritage, history yeah the heritage the dominant yeah sports car yeah you know. one of the best engines that nissan ever made in my opinion the best mm -hmm. sounding engine in existence i think a lot of people can agree with that you so know it makes up for it it makes up for it yeah as long as you understand all of that and you're into cars i think this car is worth it yeah. and, you know it's definitely a very niche yeah. customer base right yeah. If you think about it these days, of course, at our channel, your channel is being mostly, mostly focused on Japan side of everything mm. and JDM sports cars. Mm. A lot of people think that these days, like, uh, you know, JDM is going up. They are going up in value, of course. But if you consider European sports cars for that matter as well, let's say Porsche and everything else, mm. they are going up in value so badly as well. So much right now. The used yeah. car market, I think, since uh the pandemic started there was an article i read it's gone up on average like 13 percent, 15 percent now you see you have to understand something like i mean most people have to i'm an economist by degree six years i did my master's doing supply and demand mm. bullshit and everything one thing we have to understand you know when the governments are printing unlimited amount of money because of the pandemic yeah. japan us yeah. europe Inflation, everyone yeah. is doing that that some money has to go somewhere you know what I mean yeah yeah and there is inflation 100% if you look at commodities like everything you everything know the wood inflated, or yeah. like iron oil everything is going up in value you know mm. and that being our sports cars sports cars and yeah. classic cars that you can invest they are going up in value as well and this thing has to definitely with the inflation as well at the same yeah. time you know? nice let's go this way actually let's go this way yeah, yeah. okay yeah, like even on the side roads, like the bumps and stuff like that, I'm quite surprised. It still has factory suspension. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly stock still, mostly stock. It's crazy that like a 22 year old car feels this good. Like it's definitely I mean, a driver's this car. This is, this is just unbelievably good, bro. Right. For the age, yeah, right. This is unbelievable. For the good. age, exactly, yeah. Exactly, bro. This car is a legend, bro. Oh, for sure. It's Godzilla, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, 32 is technically Godzilla. I know there will be some purists that will say that, but this for me is Godzilla. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open her up a tiny bit, just like first through second. Like this is in its purest stock form and it feels so good. Feels and all awesome. the data that like you get on the multifunction display, yeah. the steering cool, input, right? everything. It feels good, it's a driver's car. You could definitely jump in this stock and enjoy it. But, you know, compared to some of the newer like sports cars now, like this is pretty slow in comparison. <laughs> Nowadays, right? But being stock, right? Yeah, being stock, it's great. It's so easy Go, to modify. Come back to my shelf once my CRS ready. All right. Then you tell me that. All right, <laughs> I'll we'll take that for a drive. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. Like These things are easy to modify, make good power, and make them fast, but... Yeah. Yeah, in its stock form, it's just, like, it's still a fun car. It's just definitely not as fast as, like, what, like a Porsche 911 Turbo or something yeah. like that, you know? But once you do your... You know, upgrades a little bit. Yep, spend a bit of money on it's it. It's gonna beat those Porsche so badly, bro. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Launch this thing, shoot flames yeah. and everything. That'll be a flying rocket. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so good. It's hard. I mean, it's probably gonna be very hard on the GoPro for you guys to tell, but like, you know, just putting it into a lower gear, stepping on it, it's yeah. very good. There's hardly any transient lag. The twin turbos do their job really well. One day I'm gonna own one of these. Yeah. One day. Definitely, bro. <laughs> you should, bro. One day. You should. One day. It's a good car. 
it feels like um, it's so salty for me because like I had a 34 GTT in Australia, really nice white one. Yeah. And it was kind of like my, you know, back then uh, my thought was this is my stepping stone to getting a GTR. And back yeah. then, you know, a, a NUR was $60,000. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, but obviously now that's like add another hundred, another 200 grand to that, <laughs> you know? So like for me, it was just so bittersweet to have a GTT, be kind of halfway there and then moving to Japan, selling that and everything like that. And now like the pricing, it, it, it's so bittersweet. But obviously I'm in such a unique position now where I think the goal is achievable, yeah, especially with 100%. you guys watching, 100%. supporting me and watching my 100%. content, sharing my videos. What you're telling me, Sam, reminds me of Danny. Danny who? Yeah, Danny uh, Howerton, I think. And he's a, such a cool man. He's a great friend of mine. He had a dream of owning a GTR 34 Bayside Blue. And we got him a newer. He actually bought a V-Spec Junior and that's one of the best and cleanest V-Spec Juniors right now in North America. He's wow. storing it in Canada right now and he, he will be actually bringing the car back to the United States in 2027. He's such a great man. He, he had the, own, the dream of owning a GTR 34. He had this specific budget, but at the end he was able to buy, uh, you know, respect the neural together for that kind of that's budget. So cool. That was so cool. And that's and the goal man. <laughs> yeah, right after he bought the car, Neural started going freaking crazy in that <laughs> right direction. You know what I mean? He got in at the right yeah. time. Yeah, just perfect time. Perfect time. Perfect time. Hey Danny, oh, if you're watching, we're talking about you but <laughs> hopefully they'll just be this yeah. little this little this little bump down and then I can jump in and then back up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like a Bitcoin. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like Bitcoin. Will that happen? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I don't like my chances. Yeah. <laughs> the way the market's going. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> but thank you for this experience, Dustin. Absolutely, you're very welcome and thank you for coming down, Sam. Anytime. I mean, it's great to hear you here on the shop. Next one. From next one. Yeah, it's always a privilege coming down to Nagoya and just experiencing all of this with you guys. Happy to have you here, bro. How was the ride, right, my friend? It was good. That's good? It was very smooth. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous. So, <laughs> are you about to? A lot of money. Yeah, you, you, better, you, you better buy one of this. One day, man. One Maybe day. this one, who knows? Maybe this one? I don't know. I think I'm really, I'm really hooked on that Midnight Purple 3, man. Yeah. If I can find one of those. Hey, you reach out to me, I'll hook you up with one. All right, man, sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get this thing back under lock and key. Let's do it. Well guys, I think this is a perfect time to end today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. There are some absolutely insane cars that you saw here today, all at Garage Defend, and it would not be possible to film today's video without my friend Dustin. So once again, make sure you check out the links in the description if you're interested in getting in contact with him for one of these incredible cars. You know, you may end up with that uh, M-Spec I just drove. There you go. <laughs> all right, Dustin, thank you so much, my guy. Thank you very much, Sam. We'll be back again to do some more stuff with him, but thanks for watching. Smash that like button, write the comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.